Good evening and welcome to the Marine Security Guard Detachment Call Great Celebration of the 238th birthday of the United States Marine Corps. We are honored to be joined tonight by a number of distinguished visitors from the Government of Serbia, Hotel Metropole senior staff, and the U.S. Ambassador Michael E. Kirby, along with our hosts, Gunnery Sergeant Williams and the Marines of Marine Security Guard Detachment Belgrade. The record of the Corps speaks for itself. It is a rich heritage, distinguished by those who have carried its colors throughout history, a heritage maintained, maintained by those wearing the uniform this evening. We will begin tonight's celebration with the entrance of the official party and the presentation of the colors. Please rise and welcome our guest of honor, Ambassador Michael D. Kirby. Our guest is being escorted by Gunnery Sergeant Eddie M. Williams, Detachment Commander of Belgrade. Please remain standing for the presentation of the colors, honors, and the playing of the national anthem. Please be seated. On November 1st, 1921, John A. Lejeune, the 13th Commandant of the Marine Corps, directed that a reminder of the honorable service of the Corps be published by every command to all Marines throughout the globe on the birthday of the Corps. 
Since that day, Marines have continued to distinguish themselves on many battlefields and foreign shores, in war and in peace. On this birthday of the Corps, therefore, in compliance with the will of the 13th Commandant, Article 38 of the United States Marine Corps Manual, edition of 1921, is republished as follows. On November 10, 1775, a Corps of Marines was created by resolution of the Continental Congress. Since that day, many thousand men have borne the name Marine. In memory of them, it is fitting that we, Corps Marines, should commemorate the birthday of our Corps by calling to mind the glories of its long and illustrious history. The record of Corps is one which will bear comparison with that of the most famous military organizations in the world of history. During 90 of the 146 years of its existence, the Marine Corps has been in action against the nation's foes. From the Battle of Trenton to the Argonne, Marines have won foremost honors in war, and in the long eras of tranquility at home, generation after generation of Marines have grown great in war in both hemispheres, and in every corner of the seven seas, that our country and its citizens might enjoy peace and security. In every battle and skirmish since the birth of our war, Marines have acquitted themselves with the greatest distinction, winning new honors on each occasion. Until the term Marine has come to signify all that its highest military efficiency and soldierly virtue. This high name of distinction and soldierly repute, we who are Marines today have received from those who preceded us in the Corps. With it, we also receive from them the eternal spirit which has animated our Corps from generation to generation and has been the distinguishing mark of the Marines in every age. So long as that spirit continues to flourish, Marines will be found equal to every emergency. In the future, as they have been in the past, and the men of our nation will regard us as worthy successors to the long line of illustrious men who have served as soldiers of the sea since the founding of the Corps.